if I could tell you what 20 years as a PJ is, I feel like I've lived about 10 lifetimes. My personal experience over the 20 years has been very positive. Um, I've had a pretty robust career. I've gotten lucky. I've had a lot of time stationed in rescue units like here at Moody Air Force Base. I've had almost half of my career stationed in AFSOC. Um, I've spent a tour overseas. I've had, I've had seven deployments. All total, I've probably got um, close to five years, so a quarter of my career is spent in a deployed location or overseas. So I've had a really, really good, really positive experience. What a pararescueman does is mainly focused around personnel recovery. And so most of our training and effort goes into preparation and accomplishing that goal. It's, uh, it's special because, you know, we trust each other maybe a little more than I'd say a normal working environment would because we got to trust that guy that he's looking for the right stuff and he's setting us up for success because, you know, if they potentially miss something, it could potentially be our lives. A lot of times I'm not thinking about the end goal. I'm just thinking about, you know, how my foot position is going to be in the door. And when I jump out, how should my body position be? Um, my hand, where I put it on the other guy's rig, is that going to interfere with his emergency system? How can I mitigate that risk? That's really all I'm thinking about. Can't burn the candle from both ends for 20 years at least. It just doesn't work that way. So we got to make it a point sometimes too. When we see guys working too hard or the team driving too hard, we'll have to make it a point to set time aside where the movement is slow and they have time to sit back and bring their families out, let them see what we're doing, get the families involved like you saw today. That's, it's hugely important. It took a lot for me to, to succeed, to be a PJ, and it took a lot to stay with it because <laughs> it's hard to, to grind, but um, I'm very happy that I did. The, the end result, I don't have any regrets. I wouldn't have changed anything at this point in my life. Going back, if I had to make all the same choices, I would have. Not a lot of people can say that, so I consider myself very lucky.